Like single poses, you can also import animations from Dash Studio into Unreal Engine should you need to do that. There's technically two ways of doing that or two types of animation that come out of Dash Studio. And one is a keyframe animation. And you'll open the timeline here. And when you see lots of keyframes here, then that is typically what you load in. So if it's an animated pose file, then that is that can be transferred directly into Unreal Engine. If you had any blocks that are happening on the animate timeline here, then you have to turn them into keyframe animations before you send them over. So um, it's really easy and it's exactly the same as what we've seen with still poses and they also need the fix. Let me go and use an animate animation uh, that also comes with the starter essentials here under animations. We see all these things if I hover over them, that studio is gonna try its best to preview the animations and that sometimes is a very laborious process for Dash Studio. That's because our characters are so high res. I recommend you turn every item in the scene to base res. I use a little tool for that up here, which is the Scene Tools by 3D Universe. You can also turn off the head if you do that, and then that gives Dash Studio a little bit less to think about things and shift vertices around. So this is kind of a nice one. I'll go and left click and drag that to the animate timeline here, like the kickboxing thing. So let's say that is our animation. And you can blend things together, of course. I'm going to just use this one thing. So since it's an any block, I can't send it over now. I need to go and right click somewhere in this bottom area here and say bake to studio keyframes. And then I'll get another little pop up window here. And that says, hey, baking this will mean uh, the regular timeline will take over. And that's exactly what we want. Takes a second. And eventually, I think. <laughs> I can go back to my timeline and there's what I see all these keyframes. So if I now press play, the same thing happens, but now it's all been translated into keyframes. That's perfect. I'll give her her hair back. That's kind of a little trick that the scene tools provide, but you can do this manually, of course, by just, you know, with the eyeball icon here and then setting every item in your scene to base rest, just in case you didn't know where that is. That's under the parameters tab. And then in each item here under general, there's mesh resolution. And when you send that to base, that's where you can preview animations a little bit faster. So, but in order to send this over as an animation, we do exactly the same as what we did before. File sent to DAS to Unreal. And this was maybe like kickbox perhaps. And then under asset type, I'm going to use animation. That's it. Hit accept. Wait until it arrives. Here it is. If I double click it to open it, then I know monster face is going to happen again. So let's, let's go quickly fix that. You can just about see that here. Yes, monster face. Terrible. So retarget source asset. Let's go back to Thea 8.1 and now it's fixed. And now we can go and apply that on my character over here. But right now, I don't think I'll see anything. If I go and pick kickbox, I'll see the first frame, but I don't see the character in motion right now. So if you ever wanted to preview an animation like that, and you don't want to be in this mode, if you wanted to see this animation happen in your actual viewport or in your actual scene, then you can switch Unreal Engine over here from selected viewport over to simulate or Alt S is a shortcut for that. And then we can see a real life preview of that. That is kind of cool. You can also use these animations on the sequencer. That's kind of an animation technique, how Unreal Engine deals with keyframe animations. And we're going to deal with that in another video.